In today's lesson, we're going to factor a sum or difference of two cubes. We've already factored a difference of two squares, but if I have two cubes, I can actually factor it if it's a sum or a difference. So how does it factor? It factors like this, okay? If I have a cubed plus b cubed, I can factor it as a plus b, there's my first binomial, times, and then I have this trinomial here, a squared minus ab plus b squared. If I have a difference of cubes, that's a cubed minus b cubed, and it'll factor in this first binomial, a minus b, times this trinomial right here, a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, if you're, you're ever taking a test, um, you will likely be given a formula chart that shows you that this is how a sum or difference of cubes factors, so you won't really need to remember it per se, but this SOFAS method really helps us remember how this trinomial portion over here factors. So I first want to go over the fact that, you know, one of the things that I push in factoring a difference of squares is you have to recognize that you have a difference of squares. Well, if you have a sum or difference of cubes, you have to recognize that you have a sum or difference of cubes. So you might want to remember the first 10 perfect cubes. Okay, obviously if it's a variable, right? I've got x cubed, um, and then 1 cubed would be 1, 2 cubed is 8, right? 3 cubed is 27, this is 3 cubed, right? 4 cubed is 64. A lot of students struggle with that because the square root of 64 is 8, right? But if I'm factoring a sum or difference of cubes, it's 4. So how can I remember what this second trinomial portion looks like? Well, the SOFAS method tells me that the first thing I'm gonna do, let's look at the sum or difference of cubes, right? If I have a cubed plus b cubed, well, my binomial will be a plus b, okay? It'll be a plus b. My trinomial portion, what I'm gonna do is square the first term. So this, I'm squaring the first term. And then the O stands for opposite sign of the first parentheses. So we're gonna go with the opposite sign of the first set of parentheses. So what you'll see is right there, that's opposite, right? A cubed plus B cubed, so I'm gonna have a subtraction. The F stands for factors. We're gonna multiply them. So when I do this, A, B, I'm gonna multiply A times B. Then the next um, sign is add. It's always going to be add right there. And then the S stands for, we're going to square the last term. So there's the S, right? And if I look at a difference of cubes, A cubed minus B cubed, I've got A minus B. And then I still am going to use the SOFAS method to factor. So let's move on to our next four examples, and I'm gonna to try to go as quickly as possible through these. So in example number one, x cubed minus 64, that's x cubed minus four cubed. Those are my factors, right? So I see here that I have a difference of two perfect cubes, right? I can take the cube root of each of those. That's basically what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is my first binomial is x minus 4. It's just x minus 4. My trinomial, I'm going to use the SOFAS method. I'm going to square the first term. That's x squared. O, opposite sign. So this is subtraction. It's going to be plus. F, factors. Multiply them. That's 4 times x. So that's 4x. A, add. Always add. So I'm going to add and then the S stands for square the last term. The last term is four. When I square it, I get 16. That's how I would factor this difference of two cubes. Let's move on to number two. In example number two, X cubed plus 125, that's X cubed plus 125 is a perfect cube, that's five cubed, right? So I have a sum of two cubes. So how is this gonna factor? Well, it's gonna factor x plus 5, right? I just write that first binomial looks just like that. My trinomial, I'm going to use the SOFAS method. And if you want to write like SOFAS underneath it to help you, you can. 
So the S stands for square the first term. So that's, and this is the first term right here, this X and the last term is that five. So when I square the first term, I get X squared, opposite sign of what I'm working with. This is a sum, so that's gonna be subtraction, or it's an opposite of the first set of parentheses, right? So that's subtraction. The F stands for factors, I'm gonna multiply them. So five times X is five X. A stands for add, always add. The S stands for, we're gonna square the last term. Five squared is 25, and that's how that's gonna factor. Let's move on to example number three. All right, in example number three, whoo, I've got a lot going on here. Okay, so 27 X cubed minus 1,000. I notice that 27 and X cubed are both, per both perfect, perfect cubes, that's 3x cubed. 1,000 is a perfect cube as well, that's 10 cubed. So now I notice I have a difference of two cubes. How am I gonna factor that? I've got 3x minus 10 as my first binomial. I'm gonna use sofas to factor or to write um, this the, the remaining factor, which is a trinomial. So I'm gonna square the first term. Remember, this is the first term, this is the last term. If I square the first term, that's 3x all squared, which is 9x squared. Everything gets squared. O stands for opposite sign of the first parentheses, so that's a plus. F stands for factors. I'm going to multiply them. So that's 10 times 3x, which is 30x. A stands for add. I'm going to always add. And then S stands for square the last term. Last term is 10, when I square it, I get 100. Let's move on to example number four. This is our last example. Example number four is eight X cubed plus one. So I notice that I have two terms. When I have two terms, I'm looking for a GCF. It's not a difference of squares. The only other thing it could be is a sum or difference of cubes. And in this case, I do have a sum of two cubes, two X cubed plus one cubed. So what are my factors gonna look like? Two X plus one times, let's do the sofas on this. Remember, this is our first term right here, two X, our last term is one. I'm gonna square that first term. What's that gonna be? Four X squared, opposite sign with the first set of parentheses, that's subtraction. I'm gonna multiply my factors together to get two X, always add, and I'm gonna square the last term. I hope it was helpful.